Everyone, hope everything's going well. All right, I'm going to be talking about Kurt's card care and the reality of the situation, even though they came up with these new rules. I'm going to go to Tiffany Cards on Instagram again and read N7 Evidence of Cleaning. Additionally, when any foreign substance is applied to the surface of a card, such as cleaning spray or wax. Here's the reality of the situation. Even though they have these own rules or new rules, there are so many cards out there where people have done Instagram reels. And despite doing these reels, despite these new rules out there, they haven't decertified these cards. Why haven't they decertified these cards? Because they don't want to open up Pandora's box. Because once they open up Pandora's box, then other people will probably rat each other out. That's why they're just going to go on, you know, the CEO went on Jeff Wilson's program and, you know, Jeff Wilson's like the mainstream media. You're going to get, you know, some, you could say decent questions, but you're not going to ask the hard hitting questions out there. And here's the reality of the situation. There are cards I could read to you right now, show you in screenshots as well, and they're still out there. 1999 PM Japanese promo. This is what PSA card, TCG, and PSA card posted on their Instagram. They posted as a PSA 10, but Sports Card Plaza, I think that's the guy's name. He said, oh, I got a lower grade, and I'm going to use Kurt's card care, and once he uses Kurt's card care, the serial number 84203103. What happened for that? Let me look at that right now just to make sure that it's still out there. So it's what? 84203103. If you go on PSA's website. Okay, I think I typed it in wrong. What is it? 84203. 842. Oh, three. Okay, that's where I messed it up. Yep, there it is. It is showing as a PSA 10. So, player Zabdo's TMB phone card. Okay, PSA 10. According to PSA's rules, this should not basically be a PSA 10. But it's only at... It can only qualify for encapsulation as authentic altered at the grader's discretion. Okay? So this right now is encapsulated. Is PSA going to do anything about it? No. There's other cards as well. There's a, a card I found on uh, Instagram. It's 2003 Tops Pristine LeBron James. It was a 9.5. It's number 101. And then this individual said, hey, look, I use Kurt's card care, or thanks Kurt's card care. And he, you know, did the hashtag. And then this uh, number out there, and, you know, PSA is going to do nothing. They're going to ignore this video. They're only going to listen to the good old boy network. But anyways, let's type in that... Uh, number over there it's six six five 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 eight two two so those shows as a PSA 10 okay and that was courtesy of Kurt's card care according to the individual so just random Instagram posts you could go there right now on Instagram you could try to find some of these Kurt's card care uh, hashtags some of these Instagram reels and actually some people have deleted them that's the harder part it's now harder to find out uh, these cards whether they have been used the juice or not so you have to take screenshots I have to take screenshots and that's one way that I've kept track of this and I'm sure there's other people taking screenshots as well because right now this is a no-no and people laughed at me like I'm some sort of kook a while back. But now, PSA 
has some rules in place, but they're still not going to do anything, in my opinion. And they're not going to do anything because guess what? It's uh, not in their interest to do so financially. Because if they do so financially, guess what? They're going to have, they're going to hurt their business model. They're not going to do that. You know, they're just going to be like, oh, let's be positive, everybody. Don't say anything negative and this and that. Like all that sort of, you know, BS and nonsense that we see. But yeah, there are many cars out there. These are just a few that I found and that I took screenshots of. And they still are out there. There's numerous cards out there. I've emailed myself a bunch of cards as well, a bunch of screenshots. And what is PSA going to do? Do they have a list as vintage uh, sports said? Are they going to act upon the list? Are they going to make sure that people are held accountable? No, they're not going to do that. The only thing they care about is the bottom line. But in doing so, and not looking at it from a long-term point of view, they're only a short-term thing because, you know, you got private equity guys running the show. Uh, it's going to be a huge problem. And you've artificially increased the supply. One last card, but I see this one from 85 weeks ago. I sent myself an email, what, a couple of months ago. This was a 2017 Topps Chrome UCL Mbappe refractor PSA 10 card. Let's see if that certain number is still there. It's 66660861. Let's take a look. Four sixes in a row. That's quite a bit. 6666 0861. 0861. I still see it on PSA's website. They haven't decertified that. They won't decertify these cards. And to my knowledge, I don't think they've decertified the Wemby card as well, where the guy shouted out Kurt's card care at PSA. Okay? So this is how this thing goes. It's unfortunate. But that's just the reality. They have the rules in place, but they're not going to enforce it on these cards. Why? Because they're going to have to pay out a lot of money. And they don't want to do that. So what are they going to do? They're going to sweep it underneath the rug. Anyways, let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to you later. See you. Bye.